This is the Bianchi Premio road bike. I got this at the flea market from some dude. He had it nicely tagged for 40 bucks. I did not haggle. Why would I? From top to bottom, we've got this vinyl padded Bianchi seat. Uh, it actually feels kind of squishy. I don't know if I'd ri want to ride on this all day long. Blackburn mountain rack. Put your books on there. Put your groceries on there. Look at this cute little seat saddlebag from Wheel and Heel, which is a great local bike shop if you're in this area. Made in USA too. I don't know. Probably had these made as like a little premium thing. Sell them five, six dollars a piece. Bianchi seat. Let's go up front. Handlebars are. Can you? Can you focus on that? Go ahead, go ahead and focus. Hassin Lung. All right, so they, you know, they put some cheap handlebars on, but I think they're alloy. Diacomp BRS Blaze brake levers. Here's your Bianchi head tube decal. Diacomp Blaze brakes. Let's see if they work. Oh yeah. These are nice little tight side pull calipers. They probably stop on a dime and give you back eight cents, as the saying goes. The front hub doesn't say anything on it. The rim, that's an Araya rim. And I think we're the same in the back. Suntour AccuShift shifters for accurate shifting. Oh, listen to that. I could do that all day, and I will. Give me a 27 hour video of me clicking this thing. Oh, and listen to this one. That's like, that's like a combination lock or a safe. 22 left, 33 right, 56 left, and it's open. Little bottle rack for putting in a bottle of water. And Suntour 4050 Edge Derailleur. Here, I'm gonna take my other hand up. That's the lanyard that goes to my camera. See, it fell off. Look at that, look how smooth that is. I should probably get one of those cameras that bolts onto the, the bike so I can pedal and ride the bike as I shift, but yeah. AccuShift all original cables. Now it's reflecting in the sun, now it's not. That's called the angle, that's called the angle of the dangle of the sun. See, now it reflects, now it doesn't, now it reflects, now it doesn't. And if you don't think that makes photography a pain in the ass, think again. Bianchi, little logo here. Ah. Oh. See, now my little lanyard got caught on the sprocket like this, and I was just like, hey, let me move the camera. Ugh. Ugh. So, this has Bianchi Superset. Let's see if we can focus on that. Bianchi Superset Double Butted Chromoly from Tongay, which is good. You know, it's a decent tube set. Let's see, how light is it? It's pretty light. You can lift this bike with one finger. Of course, the truth is you can lift just about any bike with one finger. Now, I wouldn't mind taking this for a test ride, but I don't see any reason for it. It's too small for me, and the back tire is flat. But this is a real, real clean bike. The guy who sold me this, he usually brings four or five bikes a week to the flea market, and they're usually crap Walmart bikes and stuff, but every once in a while he has a nice clean bike like this. And I guess he sold it cheap because he must not have had a tube for the back, or who knows. So this bike's gonna be really easy to sell, and I figure somebody's gonna be riding this around Brooklyn within a month or less, and this is really a great bike for commuting across the Williamsburg Bridge pedal around town. You could theoretically turn it into a single speed or a fixed gear. Anyone wants to do that. Just a nice, clean, little black, lugged steel, double-butted Bianchi Premio. Thanks for watching.